Apart from the regular renderer, there's something in Cinema 4D called the Pro Renderer, which uses your graphic card while rendering. So let's try to see how that works like. So I'm going to use a plain object right here and a spear as an example to render out things right here. So I'm going to apply materials onto this over here as I render through. So to change the render settings from uh, the standard renderer to pro renderer, you need to go to the render settings right over here. And here you can see the standard. You need to change that out to pro render. So this is available in various versions of Cinema 4D and this fully utilizes your graphic card unlike your standard renderer. Uh, which fully depends on your CPU speed. So we're using Pro, Pro Renderer right here. But the Pro Renderer does have some limitations right over here. So you can see that this is the render mode, as you can see, and it renders global illumination right over here and everything else just like that. So now uh, let me just enable the physical sky right here. And if I were to press render, it renders a bit differently than how our usual renderers actually render. So this is how the pro renderer renders it. So this is how pro renderer rendered out the information and it is still calculating as you can see and it has fully utilized my graphics card. But if I were to use my standard renderer, I'll get a different result. So this is what I get from my pro renderer. But if I were to go to uh, something like a standard renderer, then you will see those boxes right here. So it actually renders out in a different way. So the information that you get is way different as you can see. So you get this and this just like this. So uh, the pro renderer does require you to smoothen th things out beforehand, as you can see over here in the renderer itself. Uh, this is how the CPU renderer actually renders out, but the pro renderer, you can see that the uh, edges are still there. So what you have to do beforehand is you have to apply subdivisions and like that, so that it actually renders out in detail. So let me just go to pro renderer right here, and I'm no, not going to work around with uh, global illumination, but just direct illumination right over here. So just like that, the rendering will be a bit faster. So you can see that this is how the result looks like, just like that. Quickly, there you go, the result is there. So you can assign materials as you assign in regular renderer. So you can go over here, assign materials right over here, and then apply different settings. So you can go on to the spear. I'm just going to add in material over here as well. So on, on the material, I'm going to go over here on to uh, something like reflection, add in uh, Beckman over here to give it a bit of a shiny look, just like that. So just a shiny look. And if I were to press play button, you'll be able to see that that is mimicked over here. As so you can see that it is quickly rendered out of the graphic card right here. But there are some limitations. So the rendering is faster because of this, uh, depending on your graphic card speed as well. Sometimes processor works out best and processor does uh, have many, uh, further better options to actually work around with most of the settings right here. Uh, still in for many of the computers. But anyways, this is one of the fastest ways to render. If you want to utilize your graphic graphic card to render, then this is the way you can go to. So that's how you can use Pro Render to uh, render out graphics inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.